All right, this will just be a really quick um, part one. I just want to cover some things. Um, this is the Allen 43 long primer. Uh, this is a lot thinner than what I thought it was going to be, and I love it. It's a lot more compact than I thought it was going to be, and I love it. Um, the thing that I'm disappointed with is attention to detail. Um, there's pages sticking together. Um, I'll, show, I'll show all this. Maybe I'll show you a little bit. Just uh, There's some um, pages that are sticking together. They didn't really fan out the Bibles too well. Let me see if I can... They're all through the Bible. So you kind of have to... Uh, let me see if I can get another one over here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, no, those are fine. Um, yeah, that one was stuck together. There's there's a lot of them. I've been trying to get them out of here, but... Let's see if I can find one. Give me, there we go. See, you can hear that comes apart that's fine um so you got pages that stick together it's got a very nice bold text um like i said it's the perfect size i think every long primer or not every but uh if you want to get to go long primer this they, they've nailed it as far as dimensions perfect uh the corner work on mine's good i've heard some people complain it's not the best but it's it's good um when they rounded off these corners this is rounded off the top the, is doesn't look like it's rounded off it's more blocked off so it looks like they kind of sped up the process um, uh, there is some tracking uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this not going this way but this way yeah you can see those little lines going down yeah there you go it's not bad it's not great um, and then the ribbons look how they are cut all different it's almost like they rushed it. Um, the top here, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible because part two now I'll, I'll go in depth and I'm just trying to show you some of the cons that really kind of reminds me of R.L. Allen 10 or 11 years ago when, I, when I'd when i get on to R.L. Allen and everybody used to get mad at me. But uh, this lifts up, so it's not, I need to glue that down where it lifts over. Um, okay, with all the cons aside... Uh, there might be more that I that I'll find, but with all the cons assigned, guys aside, um, the paper for twenty twenty eight GSM is so soft. I kind of prefer this paper over the thirty six, as far as feel, and there really is no ghosting. I mean, this camera, of course, picks up more like most cameras do, but I mean, the way how bold the text is, um, it's not even a problem reading it. Um, See what kind of say real quick. It's just a beautiful Bible, perfect size. Is it worth $180? This first run, no. If they pay more attention to detail, absolutely. Is it worth $180 to me? Absolutely. This Bible is going everywhere I go. Uh, they say it's a generous app, but it touches there, and top two, and then on the side it touches. So it's a full yet. I've seen other people's reviews. They didn't have a full yap on this side, but they did on the bottom and the top. So, not sure. Footprint, they say it's the same footprint as the 53, but since there's less margin um, on here, it is even smaller than the footprint of the 53. So, it is, it's really thin. If I could just tell you how thin this was, it's just a tad bit thicker than a Holman thin line. That's thin. So, it's a lot smaller and thinner than I thought. Absolutely love it. But there are cons about it, and I'm sure on their second run of this, because this is the first run, their second run, they'll probably, you know, do more. Like, put that second uh, um, line for here, you know, some, some more tooling work. And pay more attention to detail. There's just a lot. It seemed like it was rushed. Um, but this one's going to go to use. I, I love the, the navy. I never had a navy blue, except for the wide margin. That's still in its box um, from Allen. But this navy blue seems a little bit darker. Um, or, I mean, excuse me, a little bit lighter, it seems. Um, other than that, in the art gilding, the red, is a lot darker than Allen has done in the last five years or so. Five, six, seven, I don't know. But it's a good Bible. Um, really, it's up to you guys. I'd give it maybe a six and a half maybe 7 out of 10 overall 
Whereas I'd give a 53, like a 9.5 out of 10, or a 10 out of 10. You know, just a really nice Bible. So, I'll put it down as for this. I'll put it down as this. If you want a very luxurious Bible, and it stays at home, trust me. And it's your, say it's your first Allen, get a 53. If you already have a 53 and you're looking for something that's very portable, you're just gonna you're gonna read through it. You plan on beating it up, taking it with you everywhere. It's gonna it's gonna you know you might end up dropping it or something. And but you want that 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 long primer layout, and you want something that's rugged. This is perfect. This is for me. If every long out if every long primer was this dimensions, I would have bought a lot more a long time ago. But I do have to mention the cons. Um, you know, there's some problems here, but I'm sure that will be smoothed out later on, maybe even after this review, uh, once they, and plus when they get feedback, but man, the dimension, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect, except for, it seems like it was rushed and some things were overlooked and not done as nice as Alan usually does it. So, um, yeah, guys, it's just really thin. I, I love it. Dimensions are just outstanding. I got pretty big hands. But um, it can almost cover this whole text block, and it's close to a 53. It's it, but it is a little bit smaller of a footprint, so it, it's smaller, it's thin, it's just the paper is so soft. They did get the highest quality 28 they could find, that's for sure. So I hope this helps, guys. Just uh, I'm gonna have a part two where it goes more in depth, uh, probably either tonight or tomorrow. So I know I say that a lot, then I don't end up doing it, or I do it, I don't upload it. But this one, I really want to go back to it because I really like this Bible, and I want to give you reasons why to buy it. <clears throat> but for right now, if you've never had an R.L. Allen, it's your first purchase, I'd go with a 53, okay? Um, unless, you know, after the second video I make, you're like, okay, I still want to get that. I don't see you being disappointed, but it's just not the best representation that Allen can do, okay? Well, until next video, good day and God bless.